The House of Atreides is, has, been, has been annihilated. I mean, one of the great, great houses of many, many centuries. It's just in overnight, it was, we, we learn this right at the beginning of the film, not, not in visual, but we learn it through a narration that it's, been, that it's been eradicated. So there's a whole massive shift in what could be happening. He brings a poetic and philo philosophical sense to the story, which you do get in the reading of obviously Frank Herbert's, which I think is why it's very, it's very powerful to people, because it's, it's also very interior, and it's very, the, the imagination is, is of a hugely poetic nature. And I think Denny is able to get this in, in his visuals and in his narration. He's able to get a kind of uh, a mystery about what is happening. It's, 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 it's on an operatic scale. That was, a, that was a treat to work with Florence and Leah because they're, it's another generation from me and it's like it's, it's two, young, two young women who, who also have very... One is not part of my, my Bene Gesserit set. So Leah has part, so I've, I've been training Le Leah and she, so she's part of my world. And then Irulan is part of another world but I'm very influential in her life. So it, it, was, all, it was sort of my, like my two beautiful pupils you know, that, I was, that I was gazing on to make sure that the control that I had was sufficiently 